Welcome to the dollhouse. First stop, toxicity. <laughs> Have you ever had to have a discussion with yourself? I don't want to get close. Don't make when a nigga this won't listen. No, I don't want to fall in love. Isn't it time to love yourself? Don't make me fall in love with you. Don't to fall in love. There's only one regret I have and it was falling in love. When the niggas stop talking and the roses stop coming, the animosity is thicker than the love. False integrity, fake personality, no accountability. Yes, I did his best. I was tricking on this nigga with my feelings, and the nigga still played him. Slam dunk 2K. Counting on this nigga, but I need a second hand. Trying to build a future, better have a better plan. Never sit yet. <laughs> what the fuck? Toxicity is a song that I decided to write because I was in a very toxic situation and I felt like I was not being heard. I don't know what it is about loving someone who doesn't love you properly, but it's just some type of validation that you seem to find yourself looking for. This song was one of the most difficult songs I even felt like I had to get through. Normally I'm like well rehearsed. I know how I want to sound. I know how everything like needs to be I know how I want stuff arranged but some for some reason it's just this song like my head is in so many different places I just I'm, I'm having a hard time really getting through this <laughs> the only one regret I have with us falling in love when the niggas stop talking and the most start coming to your mind I may need a moment I think that all the madness that happened while I was trying to make the track. All those mess ups, all that stuff actually came together. In fact, the pain that you can hear in my voice, I don't even feel like I sound like, I don't even recognize the person that, like how I sound when I first start talking. Like, I don't know if y'all pay attention to it, but the second it come on, it doesn't even sound like me. Like it, it, it really kind of weirds me out a little bit. And I said I was gonna go in and fix that, but then I realized that everything was so imperfectly placed together to make toxicity, which ended up being the greatest gift that, you know, I could be given from someone who had given me nothing for years. Thank you. Mermaid Holly Bailey. One more time. Song's probably Bailey. Ugh, one more time. Ugh, I'm gonna have to break it up, like. <laughs> this song has to be the first song on the track. Not only does it have to be the first song, I also think that I'm going to name my album Toxicity because toxicity is something that we all go through whether you like it or not. Toxicity is something that's going to be just as common to the world, to your lifestyle, as dying will be. Because one thing about it and two things for sure, we don't always know where faith is taking us, we don't always know where the future will land, however, what we do know is, is in the end they gonna throw that dirt on us. <laughs> Bitch, and with that being said, I birth to you, toxicity. So, you know, I have the uh, the song that I was telling you about or whatever, man, you're doing. Uh, I'm ready to do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get straight. We're going to go ahead and get straight to it. Shit, if I want it, I buy it. I ain't calling no nigga. Oh, you had just like that nigga. Don't call me your sister. Don't at me in mentions. Boy, you can't let me stuff fuck if I tell you come eat it. You know that you with it. Yeah. And they claim no nigga that's beefing with bitches. I'd rather go fuck on your sister. You know what I've come to realize? One of the most important things about being on this amazing platform is that I've been given an opportunity to also share the wealth. And that's something that I actually learned from dealing with Raja. I realized that I had a song that had been clicking through my head and I thought that it was really important for me to write something for all the women, all the baby mamas who are out here dealing with these baby daddies. And you know, just so happened my sister ends up being one. Like my mother definitely plays the father role for my nephews as we all actually do we all step in but they do say it takes a village to raise kids i am a real rap i don't know where my sister get that real rap shit from like she the only one the one the only one bitch there's only one beyonce yeah say hey to my sister the real can the real rap princess from a real good boy i talk back <laughs> made me say the name is kitty cat he left you with a lane want your hoe back daddy running gang with a good crack i'm fighting over dick bitch you knew that eating pussy good in the maybach ain't 
Fuck it with no nigga that ain't on that. Yeah. I'll take your baby daddy, then I'll bring her back. That really pulls that um, album in. One thing about greatness, greatness comes at a cost. And it comes with a cost. It comes with a it comes with a, a, a pretty cost too, actually. I find myself having to tap back into my Ariel O'Hara, you know, just because I definitely know that that to be something where I can make a cool one. I need to finish my album, I have to shoot a music video, and where all this money is supposed to come from. I decided to do a song called God is a Woman. I'm doing this song so that I will be able to fund my dances. Like money don't grow on trees the way that I would like to think that it does. to do something different on this show. I wanted to do something that would be very sexy. I'm doing this song because I feel like I'm birthing myself back out. I also do recognize that there's this division that's between trans women as well as cis women. I do feel like if there weren't for women, there would be no men. If there wasn't for women, there also you know, would be no reproduction of the world. I mean, long story short, we're not trying to argue with you girls. We're not trying to be you girls. We're trying to be trans women. I want to be a trans woman. I don't want to be nothing other than a trans woman. I want the titties at the top with the dick at the bottom. Bitch, that's what worked for me. And that's just that on there, bitch. Far back, bros. Hey baddies, it's your girl Bobby Bankrose, and I'm so excited to say that my album Toxicity is ready to be sold on the 28th as well as on all streaming platforms. So let's run it up. Who we, who we talking about me? He thinks she fucking with me. That bitch ain't fucking with me. Yeah, she can't cook hard. Yes, he like him crunchy. I'm heading over to Roger's house today so we can get my album together. I have so much to do. Luckily for me, my bitch always got my back and he works just as fast as I do, especially under pressure. Okay, so this is the cover here. I had another idea for it, but mm -hmm. I think this is just fine. I, I love this. And then I have this idea. So for the back cover, we can either do one of the photos that we have to do, but we still got a few more shoots that we gotta do. We finally have the official Barbie Bankrose Toxicity album cover. Look at my hair, clock my skin, look at how I look like a Barbie, look at the trans colors within my hair, everything intentional, everything, I mean absolutely everything, from the song titles to the way that I've placed the songs out, the thought process that I've placed through, it grabs everything that I'm trying to give, it is literally the essence of everything that I feel like I try to represent. Am I gonna do physical? I feel like I should I think do you physical. should, I think it could be like a I mean, what is situation. the process though of that? Uh, I've actually been researching that for you because I had this idea of like with this type of cover we can uh -huh. do something cool like, like this. Like that? Oh my god, that would be seen. Ooh, I could have a pop-up. Yeah. And then next order of business, listening party. Amazing. Yes. Um, they approved it. Okay. Now I just need to come up with the day so and figure out what that's looking like. Okay. Three weeks, get everything mastered. 
um, the songs that you want, the petition you want on the project, because I know that we also talk about you doing like a... Yeah, I need to sit and, down. I was wanting to sit down. Like a yeah. track list and right. kicking. Yeah, yeah. We talked about doing that So too. we definitely need to do that. So we need to discuss the Barbie Back Rose video. Okay. I have a treatment for that, but I know that we might want to do something. Yeah. I just see like if I had a love interest or something. Like this is this one I'm kind of talking about in the song. You don't think? I mean... I could get one of the boys to like... I could get one of the boys. Let's see who I could reach out to. I mean, because I think that would be cute. Yeah, because, I mean, if we're over there and it's like, you know, we give and it's like, you know, you keep getting the flesh of that boy, like, you know. Okay. I, I mean, think, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I mean, think about it. If the song don't give that to you, um, you really think about it? It gives a little bit of that, but it also gives, well, I mean, it's a part of who you are, too. So, yeah, it gives all of that, really. Well, what would that mean? What do you mean? I saw that private drive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here today with you bright and colorful and happy and joyful after everything that I've been through. I feel like my album takes you on a ride of highs and lows. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Shout out to Chase of Reality for always giving a middle, a beginning, and an end. You know, that's what we do over here. We give full stories. With that being said, I present to you Toxicity. Let's turn the fuck up and get toxic. So let's do this. Let's get back to work. Okay. Let's finish this. So get you out of here. Yeah, I'm tired. Cause maybe they're working all day. I have honestly. Mm. Oh, America. America. You said back shots, right? Yeah, I think we should do like some back shots. Bro, stop playing with me after this fucking call. If I really come and fuck you up, bro. I'm not even about to play with you right now, though. Like, bro. Rolling. Action. <laughs> I decided to kill two birds with this new stone that I've been handed. And the stone in which we're referring to right now is Batty. I decided that I wanted to do something that would be a reminiscent of a live performance since we know your girl loves to give a live performance. That and this is my first time being seen back. You guys have also been, you know, asking about the music, asking about the music videos. So I decided to do, you know, a two for one child. I'm gonna give y'all a music video as well as give y'all a live performance all at once. Thanks to COVID-19. <laughs> The road, though, to getting this done has definitely been a difficult one. You know, I've had to make all the stuff. Thank God I have Roderick backing me up. He had to come and pick me up because I'm not going to even tell y'all about, you know, the hit and run I was in here recently. But we did do it in about two takes, which is two motherfucking takes less than some of your faves. <laughs> we cost efficient over here, honey. I was looking for the baddie. I'm here now, so what's up? I bet she little bad, bitch little bad. I bet she little bad, bitch little bad. I bet she little bad, 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 bitch little bad. 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 I bitch little baddie. I walk in the room and they watching the fads. Speed on 3D, but they step to the family. Chasing the bitches, we chasing the reality. Me and my bitches, we killing them. From Dallas to Georgia, we eating. We change the game up on yeah, we did that. Turn to cut the heat, I better be freaking boss moves, homie. Bitch little baddie. I walk in the room and they watching the fads. Speed on 3D, but they step to the family. Chasing the bitches, we chasing the reality. Me and my bitches, we killing them. From Dallas to Georgia, we eating. Change the game up on yeah, we did that. Turn to cut the heat up. Bitch little baddie. Bitch little baddie. I bitch little baddie. I bitch little baddie, bitch little baddie, bitch little what? Bitch little baddie, 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 bitch little baddie,
bitches so baddie Step on the set and you know that I'm killing the game They pay me in hundreds, I blew in them bitches and baddies splitting the change Boss out baddie, bad bitch, shout out to my mother, she taught me the game Fuck all these bitches, you fuck all these niggas, you know that you better get paid I'm so progressive, they watch the progression, they say that I'm changing the game All pink fitted bells, who sit head at the table, I'm mother my lane I heard that a bitch said she doubt me, but once it came on, she was bopping alone One thing was forgotten, this bitch is a baddie, I crush everything that I'm on Bow, a bitch a little baddie a bitch look bad, 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 a bitch look bad. Bitch look bad, bitch look bad. I must say it feels so good to be home. Shout out to Chasing Reality, y'all. Now I got one question for you. Who's that? Well, y'all, it was a really hard, try some day. It was hot as hell off inside this place, bitch. My lashes is falling off, my wig is sliding back, child. But long story short, everything is done. You know, now it's time for the girls to work their magic on the other end. I am definitely officially done with everything that I can do. And I have to give a shout out to Roderick, as well as all of my amazing dancers, as well as Andario and Markel and um, the janitorial uh, people, the lot attendant people. Shout out to the security guards and all of the other people who were there to make sure that Barbie was able to be Barbie and the reality was able to be Chase. And that's just that on that. Boom. really grateful for Carrie. Carrie is someone really special that I hold near and dear to my heart and I'm just you know always so happy. I'm really actually really anxious to even let Carrie hear this music because Carrie honestly hasn't gotten an opportunity to hear my music. Being in this room right now I feel like I'm sitting on an egg and it's about to hatch and it's not the kind that you kegel neither like it's like this is a big motherfucker like you know you're gonna have to lube up and and dish out for that. So let's go ahead and hit play on what is now going to be heard as toxicity. Brace yourselves. No. <laughs> There's only one regret I have and that was falling in love When the niggas stop talking and the roses stop coming The animosity is thicker than the love False integrity, fake personality, no accountability Gaslighting at his best I was tricking on this nigga with my feelings And the nigga still played him snap dunk to the stick in the mission Fuck love, get money. Okay. <laughs> and that's how I plan to open it up. Pretty ass skin, big butt face, tense, get that baby daddy's looking on, make no count. I keep the shape popping for the niggas that watch. Show the bitches run it up, run it out of raps. It's a big hate, big face, I shame. Try to see them fake when they wanna join the pack. Tell them wipe their nose when they blow a white girl. Try to let the hurt them, but them bitches all hang. Fuck what they want with a bitch like me. Fuck what they want with a bitch like me. Fuck what they want with a bitch like me. Fuck what they want with a bitch like me. Me, me, nigga. <laughs> big, big booty, slim waist, big titties, pretty face, milk skin. Hell yeah, the nigga wanna do me. On the couch, on the bed, give me head, give me bread. On the nightstand, where a real bitch can get it. Barbie, babe, Yeah. <laughs> had to flex my shit, I had to get the booty done. Now my shit is popping, got it busting like a gun. If I catch the nigga looking, I'm gon' cock and load it up. Barbie Banks is on the scene, make a nigga wanna be. Big ol' big ol' big ol' booty bounce, watch the booty catch the beat. Got the niggas in the trance, know the niggas want it. Let's break them. That made me wanna have my phone in my hand go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. break my hoe. Okay, yeah, I break that for that nigga. Sexy little daddy, five foot ten, brown skin with a pack. Thick in the front and the back, seven niggas, you know that they carry. carry, carry. When I hear that it's seven, I cream. When you touch me, I shiver and scream. Uh, and if the niggas say fuck with me, I'm gonna bend it and let them between. Yeah, yeah. Barbie, bank, rolls with that 
pussy on my nose. Take your time, let me see you wang. Yeah, ride my dick slow. Whoa, let's make it a party. I'ma call one of my hoes and let y'all both climb on this pole. Fuck a safe word, bitch. Anything goes. Yeah. You know how like when you get a feature and you supposed to eat the feature, the feature supposed to eat you. Yeah. Didn't happen. No, I was vibing. I, I love that. Y'all keep praying. Keep praying. With my whole mode, you better know what's on go. We gon' fight on sight. Bitch. And if my whole call, I'ma pull it to the villain with the issue. I'ma glue the fucking bill. Hoes better know that's my best friend. I don't play about my back bag. I pull up in the beamer with the sniper for the business. Clear it out from a whole nother building. Bow. Please don't touch my shit. I play about a lot, but I don't play about my bitch. Couple hundred dollars just to let them see my tits. Got cheese, get the grits, put a paddock on my wrist. And now I'm like slide over. I'm a mind controller. Slim thick in my fashion over. Me a bank rolls in the Range Rover. And if you try us, then it was nice to know ya. You better go the fuck off. Okay. Well, you know, listen. I'm just trying to, I'm just, you know, taking this all in right now. I'm like, haven't really let a lot of people hear my stuff. And this is like, I'm really, you know. Yeah, you know, it's like, I'm excited because it's like, it's finally like. Time. It's a shame, such a shame, I'm ashamed At the games I've been playing with my heart I was sleeping with the enemy right next to me oh. Yeah, you tried to break me down, but nigga, I'm a winner nigga, I'm a Tried winner. to play off all these insecurities, you almost caught me slipping, almost caught me slipping. It was necessary, left in February, knew that something had to change Love was never in your eyes Realize it was all a game Yeah And most importantly I'm not to be fucked with Can we thank you for that? No thank you it's, it's like it's so lady. beautiful like so i'm slightly looking around the room i'm really humbled and happy to know that you know these two years that i spent writing this amazing ensemble you know didn't go to waste child and my money didn't go to waste because these kids is definitely jamming out <laughs> Thought the grass was greener, but nah. Pussy nigga look bad. Do I want them back? Nah. No bueno. Ever, ever since I left them, I've been on this time to get. Try, try to keep me from my dreams, and now I'm living in them. Pussy nigga out here in these streets. Got a real go get a for one night. Get up. Listen, oh, who bitch. About me? From me to you. Don't leave that motherfucking nigga tomorrow. Leave that nigga today. <laughs> It's gonna be the best When he get the cookie out the jar It's gonna be fresh When he knock the lining out the box He gonna break a sweat When he pet the kitty on the head It's gonna purr for him, pussy yeah. Biggers be flexing like they killing shit Talking like they dig big Bitch, I'm on some other shit up, Trying to run that game on me Play it with another bitch Pee on ass nigga Who you think you get down on, pussy? So that was when he did it yeah. We didn't know we needed it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't know we needed it We didn't even be there <laughs> Tell me why her baby daddy always sweat me with that nigga, send a check, he dead to me Yeah, them bitches call him daddy But his children call him sweet They don't know him by that name He always absent in the streets Nigga out control, out here on the ground flexing Got some diamond rings But won't ring to see his children Acting like he on In a minute he'll be gone Heard them feds on the phone Now they're scamming money I love how this fits in toxicity as a whole. Like I, just, yeah. I love it. It fits. Oh, it's toxic. Add as the fuck. nephew. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Add the nephew in the background. Okay. okay. Um, the next song is um, a song that some of y'all have heard. It's "Run It Up." However, it's the remix with uh, Rico. Yeah. yeah. Bitch keep talking slick shit on that ground, but ain't gon' do shit. I dropped the pencil, so pull up, bitch, and let's get fucking to it. You big, you bad, you talk your shit. I'm with that shit. Let's do it. Pull up, little bitch, and bring your click, and let's get fucking to it. It's um, winning. It's with me and Roger O'Hara. Winning on you, winning on you, hoes, you hoes. Stay winning on you. I know you hoes, big man, big piss. Barbie Banks got the head coast. When I walk by, bitches be hating. Cause I'm winning.
winning on you hoes, never slipping. Period. Winning on you. Fall. It's how you get up. And, and that's how you get up. That's the last time. And then that completes Toxicity. I think that's a good exit song. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. All I okay. with, yeah. It's heavy, it's light, yeah. it's, you know. A great journey. So, do y'all feel like something needs to be? Hell no. It flows so well for me. Yeah. I wasn't bored. I'm here for it. I was like, okay, I, I need more of this. I would. I right. really. I would listen to it again. When we put this out, that's what matters. Yeah. What, yeah. What we put this out, we need to hear it two or three times. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let me As run that back fact, real quick. Send me, send me the thing. Okay. <laughs> this, out now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> out now. Get ready to have a listening party Sunday, um, and I would like for y'all all to come out if you can. If you can't, I completely understand. Uh, but I'm hoping to pack it out, and you know. Hopefully, make my dreams come true, and hope the people bop to it and feel the same way y'all did. I hope it yeah, yeah. like really like move some people. So let's go. Thank, no, no, thank you for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. I love you. Love y'all too. Mary decided that they would let me do my listening party here. So I decided to get, you know, my closest friends and family, bitch, even though, you know, it almost ended up just being Raja and motherfucker Loretta sitting at the table. Like we really could have did the album listening in the car to be absolutely honest, just got dressed up cute. But you know, my mama and everybody ended up coming out. I invited them, she showed up late. She brought my grandmother, she brought some of her coworkers. Bowlegs is here, Dior is here, Kesey is here. This is also my family's first time hearing my music and everything that I've been through. We I'm gonna play toxicity and I don't know what my mama's gonna do. So I wanna thank y'all so much for coming out. Um, you know, a lot of y'all know me by Ariel O'Hara. However, now I can say Ariel O'Hara. Um, I just wanna thank y'all so much for coming out. Um, you know, I had been going through a really toxic situation within a relationship that I had been living in. Really, being a prisoner to my house, to be absolutely honest. And you know, with that, came me talking to myself and I decided to put it to pen and paper. My album is called Toxicity and the first song that y'all are getting ready to hear is exactly that. Toxicity. I don't wanna get close Don't make when this a nigga worse enough I'm protecting And you find yourself talking to yourself Take this too far. Isn't that when you're the most honest? I don't wanna fall in love. Isn't it time to love yourself? Don't make me fall in love with you. I'm afraid to fall in love. Don't make me fall in love with you. I'm afraid to fall in love. There's only one regret I have, and that was falling in love. When the niggas stop talking and the roses stop coming, the animosity is thicker than the love. False integrity, fake personality, no accountability. Gaslighting it is best. Yeah, yeah. I was tricking on this nigga with my feelings, and the nigga still played him slam dunk 2K. And that was toxic. Yeah. Big booty, slim waist, big titties, pretty face, milk skin. Hell yeah, the nigga wanna do me. On the couch, on the bed, give me head, leave me bread. On the nightstand, where a real bitch can get it. Fuck with my whole mode, you better know what's on go. We gon' fight on sight. And if my whole call, I'ma pull it to the building with the issue. I'ma glue the fucking bill. As I look around the room, I realize how much love is in this room for me right now. I have my gay family, my chosen family. I have my biological family. Just looking around the room and seeing everybody bob, seeing them cry when they need to cry, seeing them laugh when they need to laugh, 
seeing them getting my one-liners and my zingers, seeing them get me through my music is absolutely amazing. And it let me know that I did exactly what needed to be done. And I understood the motherfucking assignment. So next is um, a very personal song to me. Um, I wrote it, it's called Ashamed. I wrote it because, you know, sometimes we find ourselves in relationships and within those relationships, we find ourselves losing ourselves. And, you know, putting up with things that we shouldn't, shouldn't at some point, you know, deal with. And with that, I found myself no longer wanting to be angry with the person that I was with, but more so ashamed with myself for letting me So with that being said, this song is called Ashamed. Y'all will notice the voice on there is actually Curry D and he sounds like a fucking angel. Yeah, I know you heard it once, so let me say it twice. These niggas full of shit, and they ain't looking for no wife. It's insanity, such unclarity with jealousy. The way you put your hands on me, squeeze the life out of me. Yeah, I know you heard it once, so let me say it twice. These niggas full of shit, and they ain't looking for no wife. It's insanity, such unclarity with jealousy. The way you put your hands on me, squeeze the life out of me. Tried to break me down, but nigga, I'm a winner. Nigga, I'm a winner. Tried to play off all these insecurities. You almost caught me slipping. Almost caught me slipping. It was necessary. Left in February, knew that something had to change. Love was never in your eyes. Realized it was all a game. And I'm ashamed, such a shame, I'm ashamed at the game that been played. I'm not to be fucked with. I had an emotional moment during a song that I have written with Carrie called Ashamed. I wrote it from a really shameful period, you know, in my life as well as in my relationship. Something that I hate about being considered to be like a strong person and the person that people lean on is that you don't ever really get the type of empathy that you give people. People always feel like, you know, and I hate to say it, but my mom even do it a lot too sometimes. I'm really standing in like a so real like moment of realizing that I've really done everything that I ever said that I wanted to do. Like it's such a early, lifetime of my life and it makes me so excited to see what's to come next. You know when you started out, you made mommy cry. To know that you actually was going through what you were going through and didn't talk to me, it hurt. Because you know if nobody, if nobody has your back, I'm there. Mama got that back. I got your back 100. Bad, good, wrong, right. You know, I'm going to always be your number one supporter. 100%. Can't nobody change it. You are my first blessing. You will always be my first blessing, one of my best blessings. Can't nobody change that. I don't care who you become. I don't care if everybody else thinks, how am I supposed to step in? You're mine. You're mine 100%. 100. Can nobody, nobody ever make you feel bad, baby. Because guess what? You're one of the best. The biggest. You're one of the best, and you're going to be everything that you want to be and more. I didn't raise you not to fight against this world. I raised you to fight against this world. If nobody else could handle it, you could. And you handle it. And you've been a damn good example at handling it. Hello. Thank you, Bobby. My greatest blessing, I think, this year has been able to turn something so toxic and something that was meant to break me and tear me down and deter me from my destiny to being able to box it up, bundle it up, and sell it. <laughs> and get, you know, my flowers finally. With that being said, officially, that's what the rose stands for on my end of my name. It's for the flowers that I have never been given. 
I come with them now. Bobby Bank Rose. called me late one night actually my sister texted me somehow another things you know transpired my sister felt like you know she wasn't being heard or and the girl was doing something disrespectful we we'll probably never know what the truth is however we do know that we all have to dance together we all have to have a good time together we all are working together and what I don't want to be is a moderator between the two of them you know, bickering while I'm trying to get to the bag. I know you and my sister had some problems. She had told me about her. And you know, we got that song, Baby Daddy, together. So she's here and I feel like y'all should have like an adult conversation. I don't have much to say because how I feel about the situation. So she could say whatever she want to say and I listen. But I, I, I really Never don't have much to say. To say. Because there was on my end, there was nothing wrong. Well, you so, just need to say that. Like, you yeah, know. I can I happily say that, yeah. but I don't really have much to say after that okay well let's um and we all y'all is don't let me get out of control uh -huh. all of us okay let's go <laughs> uh, uh, y'all know what y'all got going on i don't really completely know but y'all have to like some type of compensation needs to be had as adults. I agree. And grown women. I agree. The other day when you did what you did, I said, okay, you were doing the most. So it gets to a point to make me feel like, okay, well, we're really friends for real. When did you ever approach me to have a conversation about how you felt? Because let me tell you, we done drank, we done party, we chilling, and then you come outside, a whole 360, I thought we done left the club and then you're attacking me. That's not my problem to care if you don't respect it or not. I'm not gonna keep talking to you about it too, we too grown. It's same as I hold that so why would you hold that? So when you do it again, so when you're doing it again, though, what's the thing? And then I have to wake up and say, okay, so what's going on? Tell her exactly, tell her exactly what you told me that makes you feel so tight. When we having a conversation and it's both just you and I, right? Me and you just having a conversation. Understand the respect that I would have for you of yo man or who you're talking to. My thing is be respectful and act as a lady, yes, act as a lady and as a woman and as a true friend to somebody and just shield. Like be for real. No, JB fucking for real. No, JB fucking for real right now. Whatever okay. you're talking about or whatever. I, Are we done with the conversation? We're done. She don't get it. Yep. She don't understand so. Just so set on something. No, clearly. you keep saying that, and if I was, I would not be saying it. It was upset. Like I said, you were doing the most. If they had to cut ties, our like, uh, friendship, it's okay. so big, whatever. Because even after this, we're gonna move on. No, 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 you know, bickering while I'm trying to get to the bag. I'm moving differently, I feel differently, I look differently, I speak differently, and I need everyone that's behind me to follow in line, get in formation, and do the same. Hey baddies, it's your girl Bobby Bankrose. 
and I'm so excited to say that my album, Toxicity, is ready to be sold on the 28th as well as on all streaming platforms. So let's run it up. Let me tell y'all how God work. I was given an opportunity and then snatched an opportunity where it was really supposed to be the opportunity where Barbie Bankrolls was would be introduced, you know, to all my peers in one big bang of a moment in one gigantic performance. And I was robbed of that. And I was also told by being robbed of that that, you know, well, I heard through the grapevine that. It was too big of a stage for me. It was too big of an opportunity. And that, and that's something I've really never really shared out loud. And that now we circle back around just a shot of a year later, and I'm again presented with an opportunity to be on now the biggest stage, the main stage at Pride. And I'm performing for 4,000 people. Like you legitimately have to be standing on stage and looking down and looking at the people with the phone like to even really get that. And it's really a one of a kind experience that not really many people get because you don't know what it's like to stand on a stage and tell your truth to a beat and have people shake their ass and live.
Put the peace for your kid. Let me tell y'all something. Yes, brother. It means a lot to stand before y'all today and be trans. And to not only be trans, to be able to live my dreams. I just thank y'all so much for that. Thank y'all so much. I never want me to understand that I have been living with y'all now. So appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank When it was all said and done, I decided to step down and there was a long line of people who are now my fans walking to the dollhouse, y'all. But they were all wanting to follow me. They were all sharing videos and stuff with me. They were all appraising me and telling me how inspirational I was and how, you know, I'm really something that's needed right now. So with that being said, I think that that's what the purpose is. I think that that's what my purpose is. I feel like that's why I've went through everything that I've went through is so that I would have a story to tell. These people are literally lining up, filming me, taking pictures with me, and appraising me as Barbie, Barbie Bankrolls. And they're not just telling me that I'm a star. They're telling me I'm a superstar. And there's a big motherfucking difference in that. Cause you girls, you know, a lot of the girls, they be stars, they may have star qualities, they may have a zinger here or two, but I'm a motherfucking superstar. And that's what the difference is. That's why I eat, that's why I reign supreme, that's why I am mother, that's why I am overseer, and that's why I'm the motherfucking bitch that I'm gonna be forever and always. Boy, bank rose, bitch. And that's what a big rose. All the emojis of the roses, bitch. That's what all of them. <laughs> My album is now officially out. So allow me to formally yet again introduce myself as the made, the amazing, the amazing. Let's correct that. Let's correct that actually. The amazing, wearing amazing. Barbie Bankrose doing all of her own original music, bitch, which is a movie and a testimony, as well as a written document, no shade, to my motherfucking life. So allow me to welcome you guys into the dysfunctional toxicity world of what is now known as toxicity. Welcome to the dollhouse. Have your seats. I'm Barbie Bankrose, and I'll be your mother. Thank you. Trans artist who thinks she's the best.